behind Manitoba time right so it's actually only about 2 30 right now in the afternoon up here yeah we got about half an hour worth of driving to do up to our uh, speed limit reduced ahead reloaded place I'm hoping there's not going to be too much of a traffic and I'm also hoping that my load will be ready yes that's another thing that I'm really hoping for now my reload is going to be ready to roll so that way I can get out of here yep and I would probably come back the same as I am going in there now because uh, I don't even dare want to try and get onto Highway 1 over there. <laughs> Not in the afternoon, I guarantee you that. That's never a good idea. Well, I guess I better start slowing down. I got the slowing down to 50 up here. But yeah, we got about 37 kilometers to go yet. So let's get on over there and see what else we'll be able to show you today. I know today is probably going to be a short video, but then again, we don't know yet. We might be able to show you all kinds of goodies yet. We don't know. Alrighty, guys and gals, uh, look at this. We are going through a tunnel right now. And I'm looking on the map on the GPS and it says that there's water above us. Yeah. Can you imagine we're going underneath some water right now? Yikes, we're going underneath a river or something like that. That's kind of cool the way they got these lights set up over here in the middle for the lane there. Uh, but the, the line there, uh, they got it painted, but on top of it, they got some actual lights in it so you can see the line clearly. That's kind of cool. I've never ever seen that before on the highway. Here we go, now we're out of there. Now we're no longer underneath the lake. <laughs> yeah. We're only about 10 kilometers away from uh, Richmond there from our, uh, oh, it says Richmond town right here. But from where we pick up our uh, preloaded trailer. I don't remember ever going down on this highway, but I figured today is the day I'm gonna go down this road. GPS wanted me to go a different route, but I said, nope, I'm going this way. I want to find out about this highway for a change. And right there to the left, it looks like there's a bit of a backup traffic already, so... That might not be the best idea to come back that way later on. I might want to come back uh, 91. This is actually Highway 99. So I might want to come back 91 if I can. Maybe that's a better highway to come back on. But then again, you never know. You never know. It's rush hour is rush hour. Speed warning. Yep, that's right. Rush hour is rush hour. Nothing we can do about it. But 
it is gorgeous up here that's for sure I love it like nice green grass already oh yeah Man, that's quite a backup that they got oh well we got to do this here at this time of the day I suppose but uh, anyways we'll go do our thing and we'll be back in a bit alrighty guys and gals we have finally gotten our reload but now we are in heavy duty the heavy duty traffic yeah but I just figured I would turn on my camera here a little bit show you this beautiful bridge up here and as soon as we cross this bridge there's a scale up here they're almost always open so let's see if that's going to be any difference today but uh, I'm kind of hoping I can get out of here pretty soon because I want to get onto highway 1 so we can give her yeah I'm gonna be making me a pit stop up there by Hope PC put some go-go juice in because the highway I'm taking I don't think there is no flying J up that way so I gotta make sure that I can make it up to Edmonton with this fuel and uh, so far I haven't seen the scale sign yet but uh, it's, it is all it is down here somewhere I know that for sure I've seen it here before I've been at the scale many times yeah usually you can see the scale from up here too but you can't really quite make out where it is oh there way over there I think it is yeah I think it is over there I don't see a lot of trucks I don't see any trucks in there so we might be a-okay just maybe yeah it looks like yeah I see the sign up there now so we should be a-okay yes that's good so then we can uh, then we can try and get back into the different lane there so we don't need to take this exit up here but anyways I just wanted to show you a little bit of traffic coming out of Vancouver or Richmond BC yes so we'll be right back y'all alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are done for today yeah we are here at the uh, flying J at Hope BC yeah I needed to fill up here and actually I haven't filled up yet but uh, I figured well I'll just pull in here and if there is parking here I'll park here and I'll just call it a day it's only a thousand and fourteen kilometers from here to Edmonton tomorrow so I should be able to do that tomorrow so I figured uh, I'm just gonna call it a day and at least here I can take a shower which I just did I just come back from taking a shower and if I would have won up to merit I would have had to probably pay for a shower because there's no flying J there and I had to go on here anyways fuel up so I figure may as well just call it a day and then wait till tomorrow morning and I'll fill it right up and then we'll have lots of go-go juice and we'll be able to continue rolling but uh, just before I got here there is a scale up here and right there by the scale there is a lot of cops sitting there pulling over a lot of four-wheelers I'm not sure what they were pulling them over for but there was certainly a lot of cops out there I saw three of them at least for sure had people pulled over so yeah you got to be careful especially at night out here you know like uh, if you're gonna be texting and driving at night well that's very easily visible so they're gonna catch you real fast but anyways we do have our loaded trailer and uh, we are ready to go to Edmonton tomorrow morning it has been drizzling here on and off a little bit here throughout the evening now since I left uh, Surrey so uh, but uh, Anyways, I know it's been a bit of a shorter video today and I hope you guys understand why because it basically only left there in the evening almost so uh, with that being said I hope that you'll give me a good thumbs up share this video leave a comment down there below on whatever you would like to talk about 
and hit that subscribe button right here in the corner yeah and come and follow us along every single day we appreciate it thank you for all uh, our subscribers yeah we appreciate you guys so with that being said stick around for tomorrow we got some good clips coming up tomorrow i can almost assure you so have a good one i'll catch you on the next one behind me that day is gonna come